Hi guys, Stella Creasy asked a bit of a sly question in the House of Commons on Monday regarding charges coming in as a direct result of Brexit. Labour have labelled it a Brexit border tax. Now this is the cost that EU exporters will have to pay to sell their goods into Great Britain. This was the same the other way round when Britain left the single market. Brexit didn't all happen on day one. It was spread over a number of years. The Tories have cancelled this aspect of Brexit five times since leaving the EU. But for a whole range of reasons, it will be implemented this year. The Tory minister either didn't understand the question or pretended not to. Have a listen. Mr Speaker, the government minister says that the priority for the government is backing British business, says it's cutting inflation, the priority being reducing the pressure on British families. Why then, when the government also admits this measure will increase inflation, when British business is tearing its hairs out at the chaos that's being caused by not knowing what the charge will be and who will pay it with less than 10 weeks to go, and British consumers will find it causes food shortages and an increase in food prices, why on earth is this government going ahead with the Brexit border tax? And will he here and now commit to cancelling it so that we can stop the inflationary measure? Yes or no? I thank the Honourable Lady's focus on inflation. Indeed, she's right, inflation is absolutely critical. Um, And bringing it down is an absolute focus for the government. And uh, the House has heard her her point in relation to uh, the European Union. Um, But what I would add is simply to say that We have a clear plan for bringing down inflation that we have carried out, that we'll continue to carry out, and she's got to ask her front bench why they don't have one. What is your plan? Would somebody actually tell us what the plan is? Because I have been racking my brain trying to figure out what is the Tory plan to bring down inflation? They say they have a plan. They say that inflation is coming down, but they are not able to connect their plan to the actual drop in inflation. And for some reason, journalists don't ask them to describe their plan, to give us the details of the plan. Now, back to the main point here, the Brexit tax. I said this was a bit of a sly question because, well, this is the direct consequence of being outside the single market. And the UK will have to carry out checks. It will have to impose costs on exporters from the European Union into the into Great Britain. Now, pe- some people ask, well, why are they doing this? This is just going to damage... Uh, UK businesses that need to import. It's going to drive up prices. Yes, but this is the consequence of being outside the single market because if the EU if, if the EU gets special treatment, then other exporting countries to the United Kingdom or Great Britain, I should say, will demand the same. So you can't have, you know, favoritism when it comes to trade. That's why the, the World Trade Organization is there. That's there to make sure that there is free trade taking place where possible but there is a level playing field that there isn't favoritism um if you want to get round that you have to have a proper trade deal and of course the trade deal with the european union was one-sided it suited the european union more than it suited britain but you know thank boris johnson and lord frost for that when labor take over they'll have to implement this as well so you can't really get rid of this brexit tax the only real way to get rid of it is rejoining the european union and eventually the single market so if you're part of the single market you get rid of this brexit tax sure this should be what the the labor party you're talking about and maybe this is if this is part of the official language of the labor party the brexit tax the brexit border tax then it means that they are moving in the right direction they're willing to criticize brexit openly we haven't heard anyone within the cabinet mention it too much we haven't heard the shadow cabinet i should say we haven't heard keir starmer mention the brexit border tax it would be good to hear him mention it but at the at the moment it's backbenchers and uh, it means that the general public are starting to understand that there are costs related to Brexit that are directly impacting inflation. And as Stella pointed out, yes, if there are if European exporters are having to pay more to export into Great Britain, that's going to drive up the price to the end consumer. That cost has to be passed on. Otherwise, it's no longer feasible and they end up not selling into Great Britain. Now, some businesses have already decided uh, to avoid Great Britain. We've seen it the other way around at the beginning of Brexit, where uh, cheese companies, for example, small producers, couldn't sell, wasn't feasible to sell into the single market, so they decided not to sell. Um, some of them closed down, so the, some of them downsized and just focused on the UK market. 
But that's not a benefit. That's the opposite of a benefit. And you're going to see some producers in the European Union, the single market, who will continue to sell, but at a higher price for UK consumers, while others, the smaller producers, will say, look, it's not worth it. And at the beginning, they're going to see a lot of problems with paperwork, with cost, um, shipments being rejected. Once again, people will ask, why is the UK doing this? They have to do it, because if they don't, they're going to run into a lot of serious problems later on. But also, you have to carry out checks um, otherwise, you're going to end up with uh, rotten meat coming in. You're going to see pathogens coming in, which would decimate UK industries like farming. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.